Hi, welcome to the Taco Finance Tutorial. Today we're talking about financial calculators, tips and guides. We're going to work out how to set the decimal places on a Texas Instruments BA2+. Okay, so here are the steps, and after these written steps, we're going to go through a live demonstration. So firstly, you press the second button, that's to access the shift or second function. Then you press format, which is above the decimal place button, and it should now display DEC, which stands for decimals, and show how many current decimals you have. Then you enter what number you want, say 4 or 6, um, with a the keypad. Then you press enter at the top, and that'll save the decimal places. And then you press clear to get back to your original workspace. And if you hang around to the end, um, I'll show you the bonus tip, which is how you can manage other settings uh, within the format menu. Okay, here's our live demonstration on how to set the decimal places on a Texas Instruments BA2+. Alright, so here we have our calculator. First things we've got to do. Turn it on. Uh, better clear work if I had anything there. All right. So the steps to set the decimal places. Remember, I said you push second, which is this button up here, and then you push the format button, which, if you can see here, is above the decimal place. So it's the shift. Uh, just push the decimal place. I have to push second, and here we have the display which says DEC4, which means we currently have four decimal places. Now, next up, we're gonna choose how many decimal places we want. Let's say we want eight, so we push eight. And then we up here, at the very top, you push the enter button to save the eight decimal places. And now we have eight decimal places, and then we do uh, clear all, or not clear all, but clear the CEC button on the bottom left-hand corner, and that'll get us back to our uh, our workspace and now we have eight decimal places all right and as for the bonus tip we're going to talk about other settings that you can set up in that format menu so there was the format button so let's see what else we can set up so let's push second again and then full the decimal place for the format menu here we have decimal places which we just work through now other if you push down these up and down buttons here you can go through the menu so we have DEG, which stands for degrees, and that's where you can change between degrees and radians. Uh, I think it's just second and enter. Second and enter will rotate them. Now, if you push down, you can check European or US time. So that's with the day, month, year. Second enter changes to US, which is month, day, year. But I'm going to put it back to European because that's how I prefer it. It's all right, it's in a bit of a way. Uh, next up, we have... This is uh, number formats. So, all right, this is the US number format. And you may say that you may see that, I uh, don't know if I can get the perfect picture, but each, uh, the, the, there are commas, as in the three comma club, so, uh, on that TV show. Uh, all right, so uh, each three digits will have a comma if you set it to US. However, you can also second enter, Set it to European, and they have a decimal place um, between each three number, each three numbers. So they don't have a comma; they just have a decimal place. So that's just a choice of formatting your numbers. I'm going to put it back to US because that's what I, that's what I prefer. And then the final choice is AOS or chain mode, and that just sorts out your order of operations when you're typing in equations. And then we simply are uh, to get out of there, do uh, clear our work, press CEC, and we're back to our workspace. And there, there were the uh, other settings you can set in the format menu. Okay, that is it. I hope it helped. Best of success. If you enjoyed the video, please share or subscribe to the channel. Uh, watch another one of the tutorials now. All of those things you can do by pushing a button on the screen now, or even just give me a thumbs up, it'd be great. And finally, uh, feel free to comment below if anything needs clarification, or comment below to stir up a discussion with me and your peers.